Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. Today I am going to cover about the difference between get XML versus a get XML answer. Okay. So when we use get XML, when we need to use get XML answer. Log into your instance or customer instance. Now let's see what is get XML. Okay. So what is the purpose? Purpose of the get XML. So we use get XML when you need the entire XML response from the server. Okay. So for example, XML entire XML response. Okay. Or oh, entire XML response where um, the usage is it reduces the complete XML data. Usage complete. XML data, okay, including headers, status code, and any additional information, okay, and scenarios, and the performance is like it since it reduced the entire XML, it may have a slightly higher overhead due to additional data, okay. Whereas get XML answer, okay, get XML answer uh, since it returns only answer. Okay, so get XML answer use. Okay, use of uh, get XML answer. Okay, so it reduce only answer parameter. Answer parameter. Instead of full XML data, we will get only answer parameter. Since it returns only the answer, it can be more efficient in terms of processing time. Okay, so when you need XML, complete XML data, including headers, then you use get XML. If you don't need XML data, complete XML data, you need only answer, use get XML answer. Okay, so let's see some example. So I have created, I think um, on the incident form, I have created one uh, script include. Okay, configure client side scripts. So some pop up caller, I think I have created in the oh, wireless planning in the script include. Okay, so you see here, uh, I am calling in support group utils. So Inside the support group utils, I am calling get contact info. Okay, get the contact info is a function. Here, what I am passing is the new value. New value means here service. This ID I am passing. So I am storing into the one variable. So I am checking if the service is valid or not. If service is not nil, then I am querying the service and passing the support group email and support group manager phone number. Okay, so these values I am adding to the return. I am uh, setting the return value. Okay, so here using get XML answer. Okay, using get XML answer, I can retrieve the response directly. Okay, so I will get the answer directly. Okay, if you see, uh, if I go to incident and uh, create new. I will select the service. Now I get the pop up. I get the uh, support group email and the manager phone is I think empty. So that's the reason I'm not able to receive. But you see it is coming. OK, no need to write. Whereas if you use get XML. OK, so you have to use this one. Get XML answer. Answer from XML parameter you need to use this variable that because you are you need to uh, get answer parameter from the XML complete XML. Okay, so now see save it. Now reload it. Service see, again the same data. Okay, so the difference is if you use get XML, you need to get answer parameter from the XML. If you don't use get XML, if you use get XML answer, then no need to use this one. 
okay directly you can use the response to get the required answers okay you will get directly answer itself without using this one okay so when you use when you want only answer use get xml answer this is the because since it returns only the answer it can be more efficient in terms of processing time okay if we use get xml it slightly it has uh, some increase uh, processing time that's it okay both give you correct answers okay thank you please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos hope you will enjoy and learn service now thank you very much for your time